move on because I've got a very interesting email in relation to homework. And I'm joined uh, on the line by Dr. Nisha O'Reilly, who is the leader of the Homework Club. And she's also an education facilitator. And uh, she gave a, a lecture recently, indeed, on homework. But she joins me on the line. Nisha, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. How are you? Oh, for Thank you indeed for joining us. Um, in relation to homework and the level of homework being loaded on young people, uh, you have concerns over that? Yes, um, it just really came to light because um, I've thought this for quite a while being um, a director of the Homework Club. Basically, I run the Homework Club in, in Blanchetown, Dublin. And um, I thought for a while that we have had a great deal of difficulty in actually getting the space to do what we want to do as students, actually cover the material we want to cover and to solve the problems. And so I was giving a talk on Friday um, as part of the Aspire seminar series, and it really brought it home to me, the concerns of parents and the pressures that they're under um, with the family and, and the reasons why you do homework and the sort of levels of homework and the amount of time you spent doing it, and particularly eating into weekends, and just the whole vortex that people seem to be in. Now, my understanding was homework was there to, to help the whole education process, uh, and could it be the case that uh, homework has been loaded on young people uh, without the knowledge that perhaps they can't cope with this? Well, I think sometimes, um, you know, there's very good reasons for doing homework. Like, the reasons for doing homework are to make you experience for yourself what you did in school, to make you understand it, to make you sort of evaluate your own experiences, your own success, um, what you can now do that you couldn't do last week. Like, there's, there's very good basis for, do, for setting work. But the problem is, is that it doesn't seem to be filtering through in that parents seem to expect homework to be set. They seem to think that it's some sort of um, assessment of the, the teachers and what's happened in the school and um, where the teachers are at rather than where the students are at. And the teachers feel that homework is expected to be set, so every teacher is, is setting um, homework for their subject and there's no sort of continuity as well then between the teachers and the amount of homework that's being set across the board. And that's exceptionally obvious to me when it comes to junior certain leading certain years because we want the students to be able to study and be able to revise well and take material in and to have good exam techniques and good revision strategies but they're not actually allowed the space to do that because they have so much homework to cover that they're not getting to do any of the study material and then so even very conscientious students feel under huge pressures and they never feel like they're doing enough which is which is just sort of ridiculous okay, well, because you know they're obviously doing you know two three four five hours at night of, of homework at home can I ask you though, at any stage are children within the curriculum uh, assessed for the amount of homework that they can actually cope with? Because we do know there's more and more people uh, with say the likes of dyslexia or Asperger's or whatever. Uh, or even the home situation may be, may be all wrong. And, and yet they're being loaded with the homework. They're not doing it to the best of their ability and thereby it could have a knock-on effect. Yes, I'm, I'm not sure that anybody does. Like, I think that there is supposed to be guidelines. And um, when I when I talk to some people, they they say to me that the time for young primary school students are not supposed to get very much homework. But what, I, what I'm seeing the reality is that some of the students as early as six and seven that work with us are are still under huge pressure. And um, because um, where you have very difficulties involved, what I find is that the parents are hugely involved in the process from very early on, and um, they're. Some cases even covering up for, for their children. They're even doing the homework for them just to take the pressure away because the students are afraid to go into school and say that they haven't been able to do this. Um, and just want them to get into trouble. So they're kind of, you know, they're, 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 you know so from, from very early on, um, the parents are having to do a lot of extra work at home with their children. So you're saying that some, in some instances that you would have come across that the parents will be doing the homework for and with the children? Yes, in, in a lot of cases, ju just so that everybody can get through it. And the that's, of no like I asked, that's of no benefit uh, an issue to the students then? Well, it's, it's of no benefit to anybody. I think, like as I said, like it, it puts a huge amount of stress. And it just, it just really, for me, it just really teaches bad habits for life because you're encouraging people to take home their work. And when we go out into the workplace, that's the last thing we want people to do. We want people to be able to go in and do their job very effectively, leave at the end of the day, be in a good headspace, go home to their families and their friends and have good social outlets and then come back into the place refreshed. We don't want to teach people for 12 years to actually take their work home continually. Um, and then there's the question of sometimes you're given um, the same thing to do 10 times. And one of the questions that's been kind of asked for me from people, from children who are perceived to be gifted, if you can do math problem 10, which is the most complicated one, do I need to do the other nine to prove that I got to that place? It really and truly is. It's tough on young people out there. What, what could change it? What could make it easier? Um, I, think, I think doing um, more... Um, Assessments, well, when I use the word assessment, I mean that very, very loosely. There's very simple, creative ways to check to see what material has been taken on in the class, to see um, 
how the, how the students are actually doing. And we do this do this all the time in the homework club. You know, you very simply ask at the end of the lesson, can you write down on a piece of paper the thing that you most took from the class and the thing that's still confusing you? Thing that you're not sure how to do. You can do one or two problems to, to try something to see if you can actually do it for yourself. And sometimes it's good to actually leave some time between that. If you do something now, can I still do it next week? Did I really understood it to understand it or did I just learn it off? Um, so there's a huge amount of homework that could be not given for those reasons. Um, and then the other thing in school is that we spend a lot of time on homework. So the teachers are under pressure to correct all this homework that they set as well. So there's a sense for me at the moment that the whole system is just about homework. Um, and also then I feel that parents should be starting to question, why are you doing this? Is it really constructive? Is it helpful? Is it making you interested in the subject? Is it making you interested in learning or giving you research skills and all of all of these key skills that we should be getting out of it? Yeah, I mean, it, it, this, the whole homework uh, issue I think could be broadened up. We could spend the whole day talking about it. But I mean, if you think about it, the more homework they have, the more books they have to bring. The more books yep. they have to bring, the, 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 the heavier the bag is. Uh, and that, that eventually, I think, school bags, eventually, are uh, going to come back to bite an awful lot of people under health and safety and curvature of the spine and otherwise. Uh, but it's a knock-on effect. And then if you don't give the homework, people will say they're not educated properly. So it's a catch-22, really. Yeah, no, you, you really have to have to look at the, look at the whole reasons why it's done. And like in, in terms of school books, we don't really use school books in the homework club. We we certainly never use a workbook. We use a lot of uh, material that's available on the internet. And the great thing about that is that you're really teaching students to go off and look up things for themselves. And um, which you know, as you go on to university, that's what's expected of you. Um, it's it's not simply good enough to just quote the textbook. Um, and so we're not teaching any of those skills while setting homework either. All right, well, we will come back to it another day, but thank you indeed for joining us uh, today, and we'd like to get the parents' uh, opinions on all of this, uh, but Dr. Nisha O'Reilly, Director of the Homework Club. Uh, can I ask you, what is the Homework Club, Nisha? Um, it's basically a tuition centre that I set up in Blanchard's Town in Dublin um, almost three years ago. Um, the idea really for myself when I started initially is that I'm very severely dyslexic, so I wanted to develop a new learning method that would suit everybody, that meant that people like me could just become part of the classroom. I didn't have to sort of single out and say that you were dyslexic or you have dyscalculia or, or whatever the condition was, that everybody could work together themselves. Um, and that's what we've basically done over the last almost three years, is, is develop a new learning method which we've now called the Purple Learning Project. All right, well, listen, good luck with it. We'll talk to you again on that. Uh, well, thank you for joining us. Don't know who you're getting about. I'm just getting a bit of a howl around on the uh, telephone line there. But thanks indeed uh, to Dr. Nisha O'Reilly, joining the director of the Homework Club.